Yo, what's good? Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down how to create this mask transition. It kind of looks like a glitch transition where we have a bunch of one framers and we have these really fast cuts in order to create this really cool transition. I also want to let you guys know that I just dropped my first editing pack. So if you guys would like to further support me and check that out, I'll have a link to that in the description down below. But with all that being said, let's get into the video. So here in After Effects, I'm going to create a transition between these two clips. And the first thing we're going to do is go to where the cut is between between your clips and I'm going to go back six frames. These cuts are going to be really fast. And what I'm going to do is click control shift D in order to cut that layer, click page down in order to go forward one frame. And I'm just going to cut that layer. So we have an empty composition. So it's just a black screen and then go forward one frame or go forward two frames from the cut, cut the layer again for this layer. I'm going to add an effect called mosaic. So once I add this effect, it creates that really pixelated look for this layer. I want it to have that really low quality look. So for the horizontal and the vertical blocks, I'll increase both of that to 200. We're going to then mask out a part of our layer. So I'm going to turn on the proportional grid and then grab your rectangle tool, mask out the upper part of your layer. So I'll just mask it out like that. After doing that, we're going to go forward one frame from the cut, and then we're going to cut this layer again. For this layer, we're going to add a few effects in order to create a different look. For the first effect, let's add a noise. Increase the amount of noise to around like 25%. Then we're going to add a tritone. And for the tritone effect, I'm going to change the color of the midtones. Because this video is already pretty blue, I'm going to change the color of the midtones to a blue color. So I'll change it like that. And then for the final effect, we're gonna add a curves. For this effect, I'm gonna drag down the midtones because I want this part of the footage to feel a little darker. Then open up the scale of this layer and I'm gonna increase that to 120% because I want this layer to have kind of like the zoom in effect. But once we play, it's gonna look a lot better. Go forward two frames, cut this layer. And for this layer that we just cut, I'm not gonna add any effects. What I'm gonna do is just mask out the bottom part of this layer. So grab the rectangle tool and just mask out the bottom part. Let's go forward another two frames, cut that layer. For this layer that we just cut, I'm gonna just delete that one so that we have a black screen for this part of the clip as well. And then for this next layer, I'm just gonna leave this one as it is. So now when I play this, this is what we have so far. The final thing I'm gonna do to make this look even better is add a flash effect. So let's create a new adjustment layer. Cut this layer right before the first cut of the first layer or the first clip. So just cut this layer right there and then we're going to add an exposure for this effect let's really increase the exposure because we want to create that flash effect so i increase that to two and then keyframe that at the start click that layer click u to reveal the keyframes and then go to where the cut is increase the exposure again so i'll increase that to around four and then i'm going to create that effect where it gets really bright and then it gets dark again so go forward one frame keyframe that to zero and then go forward another frame keyframe that back to four and then let's go forward five frames keyframe that back to zero easy ease all these keyframes this is how the final transition looks like so by adding that flash effect, it makes it look even better. And this is the final look for the transition. Like I mentioned before, if you guys want to check out my editing packs, I have a link down in the description. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.